Okay, so just got off the phone with my buddy Donnie, and uh, sorry I took this all apart while I was on the phone with him. But anyway, he was talking about the uh, transmission modulator here on the 939 series trucks, and uh, how they don't engage. So uh, I've got to be perfectly honest, this is something I never even thought of. So here's our throttle linkage uh, coming up to our injection pump. And, you know, we've got that, uh, that bolt that goes through this bracket here. And uh, this bracket is what goes down to our transmission and adjusts the line pressure from what uh, I just learned. So, if you look, the bolt is a shoulder bolt. So right here is a shoulder. So when it's on here, I'm going to put it in backwards uh, just for demonstration purposes, knowing that this is not how it goes in. Uh, but when it's in there, a l you know, like my truck was right about in this area here. Uh, let's see if it'll focus on there a little better. Eh, not quite. Uh, there we go. All right, so it wasn't tight. Where you want them to be at is tight to the front. So what happens is when you hit the throttle, it will automatically pull the cable and tell your transmission, hey, I'm moving, give me pressure. And then when you let off, uh, if you let off quickly, um, the shoulder bolt will allow it to slide back, the throttle to slide back quickly, uh, but the transmission to kind of slowly ease its way back in. All right, so you have a very minor adjustment right here, okay? This jam nut uh, on, on them will be tight to the bracket. Uh, I just ran it all the way back, and guess what? I'm adjusted as far as I can, but you see, I've got a good quarter inch. Well, now that I look at it, not through the camera lens, I've got closer to three-eighths of an inch of adjustment uh, there with threads, but I can't use it because this block right here that's welded in does not go all the way through. At least, yeah, wait, maybe it does. I think maybe it does. Uh, so yeah, that's good. So I'm gonna try and clean that up a bit um, and see if I can adjust it because all I need is about three sixteenths of an inch, I think, and I'm good. So more to come on uh, what I think of this here when it's all said and done. Um, back here under your primer pump is where the cable bolts into place. Um, unfortunately, not a whole lot of adjustment there. Um, I suppose a guy could re-drill the holes, but that's a pretty thick piece of steel with not much room, so I'm not sure you want to do that. Uh, but I'm going to clean that bracket up and see what I can't do with it. Uh, I'll report back later. Now I've got everything back together and greased up too, uh, which is a pretty good idea to grease this bracket because this is what will slide. Um, so the theory of operation is when you hit the throttle, the throttle goes forward and it pulls on this bracket down here, uh, which is hooked up to this cable and that cable is what goes down to your transmission. So by setting this shoulder bolt so that it lines up right there at the beginning of that bracket, as soon as you step on the throttle, that bracket should move. So bam, right there. Instantaneous movement. And that is what you, is needed um, to ensure proper line pressure within your transmission. Now, there are two different cables, and one is a bit longer. Now, mine originally was adjusted so that, you know, it was all threads. The end of this was right at the end of the block back here. Um, now, if you were to look back there, I've got at least a quarter inch or more of the thread sticking through the block. Uh, some of the cables, I guess, are longer so if you look at the pictures that uh, Donnie had posted there earlier, um, oh, wrong thing. his bracket here, sorry, trying to do this looking through a camera lens, his bracket was like right in here. Um, 
so you've got how much movement of the throttle before you're even going to take up that slack and start building any line pressure so this is how you want it set nice and tight so as soon as you step on the throttle it will engage that uh, that line pressure in the transmission if you have one of the longer cables and yours is starting in that forward position my recommendation is to cut your bracket down and this block back here is threaded and it's just welded on the back of this in this piece of plate what you can do is move that forward re-weld it drill a new spring hole um, and you're good to go so that's uh that's what we got on this uh this fix for now